guys, welcome to my channel again. I'm so happy that I'm back <laughs> vlogging again. Well, as I told you from my last update, that I'm going to talk about the advantages and disadvantages of being a live and caregiver and a live out as well. So, I received a lot of questions from my previous videos. I mean, not from the the the, the video that I had um, when I was with the PSW. Like, uh, yeah, I, I had a lot. It, it's it has a lot of comments, questions that I'd like to answer. So I'm gonna read some of the questions anyway, and I'm gonna answer you. Okay, so was that um, it's caregiver and PSW in Canada daily routine number two. That's the blog that um, I receive a lot of questions, and I'm going to answer you guys, and I hope it will help you. Uh, uh, for those who are wanting to come here in Canada to be a caregiver, and uh, for those who are applying right now. So you will have idea what's gonna be your job when you came when you come here in Canada. Um, by the way, uh, before that, I'm gonna talk about first the advantages of being a caregiver as a live-in caregiver. So advantages, okay. If you are a new caregiver uh, here, like uh, let's say you are just um, you just came here in in Canada, like. If you are uh, um, here for a year or months, it's an advantage to be a living caregiver because number one first is you would save money. Uh, in the contract, it will include your accommodation, um, your food, I mean your meal like three times a day you eat. So of course, it's all, um, it's all covered with your employer and you don't have to do expenses like uh, for fare if you go for a bus or go for a tr uh, subway or whatever you know um, so it's really really convenient for you guys if you you're going to be a live-in caregiver because everything is in there you just need to do is wake up and work and then um, if you worry about the time Let's say like usually for the caregiver, it should be like eight hours a day, either a day or a night. Because sometimes uh, for elderly, they would, they would uh, woke up at night time, right? So at least in the day, you will have find time for yourself to relax. Um, like, you know, with being with elderly, uh, like let's say if you're in the house, like for me, like for with my job before, um, I clean a little bit. I do the laundry, but it's not every day, guys, that you're going to do. So, you know, when you um, like, for example, for me, because I'm only um, working with the elderly in one house, and it's only me and her or me and him in the house. So, it's really an advantage, guys, because you know you can do everything what you want like the time like i always had a daily routine when i woke up uh in the morning um i always start my day around nine o'clock i don't want to start my day like around six or like 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 the other who would wake up so early and you know um usually uh with nine o'clock it's a time for me to give medicine and that's the time i go to him and um, asked you know whatever he needs but of course i had to do first is to check if he's okay um how was his sleep check his um whatever like for now he has a catheter so first i check that if the pee is going through um and then i give his medicine water um you know wash his face uh, uh, for uh, his teeth when he woke up and then um uh after that uh, i'm gonna make him coffee or breakfast yeah and then after that like when you or check then also if he had uh, like 
he poop at night like he or he, he poop by the time so you need to change but usually for him he poop um because you know i like to do my daily routine like on that um on that uh, organized so before he goes to bed he would poop i clean his diaper so he's good for the whole night he would sleep good right unlike before when he was too um he was too uh let's say like he was too um very sick i mean like you know like we thought he's gonna we're gonna lose him or whatever but uh, ho well thanks god it didn't happen and still have my job right now so it's really good to do a routine guys so if at least your body will make you um um like used to it so he's now used to it uh, pooping at night or in the, in the morning when he wakes up so at least i would do one time in the night one time in the in the in the morning so i if you notice there's there's psw coming here um they're the ones who would bath them or if they need to be changed diaper as well or for now because he has a character so i don't really need to change his diaper all the time or every four hours because he has character and um it goes through the bag right so and then i just draw that every night and um, morning so well, what i did is like when the psw comes so that means i have free an hour because they usually come here for an hour or 45 minutes at least so i use that free time to go down take a walk breath of fresh air you know as they said because it makes you feel more um like you have to take care of your health too guys especially your mental health because you're staying in the house for the whole day right so it's really really important to take care of ourselves as well and our mental health and then um so that's the advantage because you can control everything if you're working like you know for those who uh, those caregivers who are like living with the family um, I'm not sure because I haven't tried uh, being a caregiver here with a family inside the house because usually here if you if they like to get a caregiver it's always like because the the old uh, woman or the old man is living alone on their own or both of them uh, like um, uh, husband and wife are both old and they had need somebody with them in their house so it's for me it's really convenient to be as a caregiver and of course the money you could save a lot of money yeah take it from me <laughs> I I'm actually uh, it's not just saving the money because I'm trying to I'm applying my PR this year right so I have to uh, save money for that and then after that i'm planning to enroll for a driving lesson so i could start to drive um hopefully next year not this year because i'm trying to finish uh what i started this year my project is to build a house in the philippines and yes i'm starting to build my dream house in the philippines now and yeah i'm getting there i'm getting there and um uh i will do an update for that anyway in the future and yeah that's the advantages of being uh, a live-in caregiver that's really really uh really good for a living caregiver because you could save a lot of money and a lot of effort to you know unlike when you're a live live out caregiver when you wake up for a day you had to go to um, you know you had to do yourself like prepare everything and then um, uh, you drive or you take with bus like you know the gasoline or your fare to to ride a bus or to ride a, um, a subway and then your food that you have to eat of course it's yours like they're not um like you're lucky if they would like you to join with them with their lunch or whatever and then and it's a lot of expenses like um being in uh like for the accommodation as well if you go on an, uh, let's say an apartment here um um most of some of my friends like they stay in an apartment like um maybe 600 is the um, minimum like for one room 
and mostly like eight hundred to a thousand dollars for one room you know one or two people inside or it's like I, I I'm not really sure about it because it's you know I don't uh, I I've stayed here with my work so and I don't plan for now while I have this work I, I I don't really want to get an apartment because it would cost me a lot of money and I'm paying my insurance as well in here I get critical illness insurance I get life insurance um, like I had to put a pay also for my phone bills right so and um, whatever that I need to and of course I had also in the Philippines to like uh, like I had to send money in there so I really need to keep my <laughs> money very tight although right now um, to tell you honestly guys I'm um, my job right now is I'm getting a lot more money than what I am getting before from a previous job um it's just that's why i i already started this year my project to build my dream house in the philippines and um i'm also trying to uh save money for the you know whenever i had to buy the things that i need for the appliances or the things that i need in the house in the philippines and um of course in the future here when i get my pr I'm also planning to do uh, uh, like to go back to school to study which is I'm really hoping that um, my educational assessment would come uh, I mean the result would come soon because if I don't you know if I don't get the educational assessment um, this month or maybe next month and then my I'll have my working permit uh, next month hopefully and then I'm going to submit my application that's the plan but uh, I'm not really sure guys I'll update you about it but right now I'm just telling you about what's the uh, advantages and disadvantages well let's say for disadvantages as a living caregiver the thing is that you don't have the freedom that you wanted as a live out caregiver but mind you guys if I ask you would you rather have a freedom which is like from for me like you know here you don't really work like 24 hours like you know you, you still have time to go down like for me I have an hour when uh, the, the PSW comes here like um one time uh, uh two times in a day like one in the morning and one in the afternoon so it's twice a day i could go down if i like to go down and have a walk fresh air uh, it's like that it's it's just how you manage your time right so it's it's really up to you uh if you're unhappy i'm happy with what i am right now with what i am doing right now so i guess um yeah Oh, 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 what else can I ask for, right? So, um, that's what I think can I tell as uh, so a disadvantage is it's, it's about freedom. It's your freedom. Like, I know uh, most of you guys, like, after work, you want to go somewhere, you want to go to a bar or a restaurant or whatever, then you gotta do some more expenses, right? So, well, when you're in the house, you, you it's not just you can, you have the, you know, you have the, you have the, like, you, you just keep saving money because you wanted to go out, but because you can't, because you have the responsibility, and then you stay at home, so then you keep your money. But if you are live out, uh, well, you have the freedom, you have, you have everything you have, you want to do, so temptations guys you know you see in the store whatever every day every like you pass by to a store you pass by to a and then you, you buy you buy like everything like you buy even if it's just a sense or you know whatever when it's every day it's everyday expenses right so yeah i think um i really prefer the live in caregiver as for now because i'm starting i've been here for three three years now so I think that 
is what I can really uh, advise to all the caregivers who are applying and uh, live out is not that bad of course it's 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 all up to you guys like we have different views and opinions right so i don't really mind if you wanted to be like a live out caregiver i want i was once like i wanted to be a live out caregiver because i was at that at the time where i wanted to go out with my friends to see my friends we go somewhere anywhere like you know but i can do that on my off day like i my off day would be uh from friday night until um sunday night so by that time i have a lot of things to do with my friends like i could go anywhere by that time especially if it's like a long long weekend let's say a long weekend is like holiday like friday's holiday or or monday's holiday so you have like three days straight straight um you know off from work so it's still up to you guys what you like but for me i still prefer the living caregiver because obviously i want more money to keep i want more money to save so i can do all the things that i want to do in the future yeah so it's all about uh, your plans and your um, decisions your opinions so whether you want to live in caregiver or live out as long as you want you like your work you love your job um then you're good anyway um there are some questions in here okay let me check there are some questions in here that um uh, they asked for me so okay um uh, some people are wondering especially my uh my uh friends in the Philippines uh, or, or all the people in the Philippines who are watching my blog they were asking why I'm I am speaking um, English in my blog instead of like doing it in Tagalog but um, mind you guys it's not just Filipino who are, who's just watching my blog like this one um I'm not sure from where she is her name is Jen Genov Genonova hi we love your videos but please speak more English so we can follow along we love watching your videos thank you jeno nova okay right now i'm speaking english so everybody will understand and yeah of course like um you know I, i'd like everybody to understand it's not just filipinos who are applying as a caregiver here in um in canada there are also um indians or sri lankans or from nigeria ghana i have friends from the psw who were coming was coming here every day is from ghana she's very lovely she's really nice lady i love her um she's uh what else mm -hmm. ganahan kus blog kaina ay sagol bisaya yeah sometimes guys i do speak or uh, my dialect which is bisaya i can speak tagalog as well pero Siyempre, bisaya punta panag sa, I'm speaking my dialect, okay. And then, um, what else? Let me see. Um, thanks for sharing. Uh, Mom, ask ko lang po, paano ka nakapunta dyan? Thanks, from Sonia Guzman. Hi, Sonia. Um, if you have seen my blog before, like my very first blog, I think, if I remember, Oh, not not my very first blog. My very first um, like blog that I talk about my job. Uh, it was I shared I think the about where I came from. How did I made it here in Canada? If you watch that video, you you all know. <laughs> and then um, a uh, nice Canada from Inday Kurimau. Keep it up and take care sa mga lola at lolo. Home care, the Ika sis. Yes, uh, home care, caregiver. Yeah. Um, what else? Uh, may, oh, there's another question here. Sis, pwede po makapag-apply as caregiver sa Canada kahit one-year college lang. May experience po ako as caregiver dementia patient it's still working here in taiwan po um hi sis chan chat go just i'm not really sure about the one year college uh because right now they always change the you know they always change the rules the requirements so uh right now they're still required uh 
uh, one post post one year I think or at least you graduated two years diploma from the Philippines because you ha they have to do assessment with your with your education so um, but in the future who knows like I think they would change again I think like I heard something about the IELTS exam as well and um, I don't know I just hear but I'm not sure about it we, who knows uh, uh, in the coming days we will know okay I'll update you that guys because I'm not from I'm not working from you know from my immigration or whatever or agency I'm not working so I don't really know okay mm, what else uh, wait mm -hmm. let's see ito matagal na to pero uh, Ngayon ko lang na ano siguro okay. Thanks for this video from Leon Pradia. It gives me an idea kung pa ano ang gagawin ng PSW. Magsisimula na ako na PSW community based sa Monday. Kinakabahan ako besh. First time ko kasi. I'm based here in Hamilton, Ontario. Bisdak po di ay kate. <laughs> oh, hello Leon. I hope you're doing great now as a PSW kasi matagal na to. One year ago na to. Ngayon ko lang na ano. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can do it. Anyway, uh, there's one also in my latest blog, like like a day ago, two days ago. Um, there's one question in here. Um, she's she was asking if hello, can you say some sites to meet families and hold the job as a nanny? Thank you. This is from Samuel's Rochiki Grow. Shiki, I'm sorry if I I mispronounce your name. Um, some Samuria, some Samuria. Uh, sorry, sorry. I, I'm not good in uh, in uh, trying to uh, say your name. But um, all I can say is um, I don't know any um, sites or agency actually that would you know that they would take from other country and come to come here. Although. I know some agency who is like, if you want to apply here, if you're already here in Canada. Anyway, there's a site actually in uh, Facebook, which is called Moms and Nannies. Um, there are a lot of posts from different employers in there or from nannies. Like, you know, if you want to find an employer, you can try to check it there. Sometimes they would ask uh, like from, you know, from other countries. So just try like. Just try it, okay? Like, there's no harm in trying, guys. And then next, kapag mag-caregiver ka sa Japan na kasarang gastusin, ilan ba talaga ang naiiwan sa sahod mo? From Narciso Muraga, ilan ba talaga ang naiiwan sa sahod ko? Guys, um, my month, my, not monthly, let's talk about weekly. My weekly salary is I'm getting paid like 600 for five days. Let's just say I'm actually 8 and per hour right now. But, you know, with tax and everything. But for now, I'm uh, with 18, 18 Canadian dollars per hour. And then from Monday to Friday, I'm getting paid like around, actually, like, because iba kasi, uh, you know, caregivers, it's not the same when you work uh, like per hour, right? Although in the contract, it would state that it's 18 per hour. But I was, uh, but I'm getting paid like 600 from Monday to Friday. And then since I'm doing work from uh, uh, um, Saturday and Sunday, so I'm getting more money uh, than the usual. So let's see, all of that in a week for me, um, like let's say for one week, I used to, to send money, the whole salary that I got to the Philippines because I'm building a house, right? I'm building my house in there now so I used to send them all of them to the Philippines all of my uh, one week salary and then the next week that's the salary that I'm keeping for my bills here let's say I need to pay more my phone bills my insurance my everything and then at least I, I have a little bit of allowance I always make sure that I have something for myself too as well and um you know the credit card sometimes because i'm using credit card yes if i have to buy something i need to build a credit history here if you wanna 
live here for a long time and you want to get an apartment or buy a house in the future you need to build your credit history as well so just um you know like uh, an idea for you guys so um it's all about how you handle your expenses actually guys let's say for me before i had my salary i already had my expenses i write it down like actually i i put it in um on my phone in my notes like i try to uh to be as much as possible to be um to be organized with everything it's better to be organized than sorry later uh, you, you who never who who knows like uh, you were spending spending a lot of money for one thing and then nothing left with you so it's not really good like that so tips for those who are uh, caregivers that are coming here it's really good to save guys it's really good it's very important when you are here when you come here in Canada you have you need to get your um, uh, as soon as possible your insurance life insurance or critical illness insurance it's all important that you have those can even if here or either in the Philippines I do have something like that you know who knows like uh, you don't know what's gonna happen to you right even if you save money right now who knows what's gonna happen in the future at least if something happens really bad like who knows I hope not <laughs> on the wood but at least you have something you keep for your family you live you left something for your family right and um aside from that um like uh if you want to do traveling in the future if you want to have a project or dreams in the future that you want to do if you're keeping or you're saving money then you're really good to to do the things that you like to do just like me right now i'm it's not just i save money like i i i have i want something with my money with a purpose like i, I don't want to be working in my whole life like this although i'm happy with my job but in you wanted something that makes you happy to pursue your job to do to do to do everything that um you know like to keep you moving to keep you encouraged to do every day with a job you need an inspiration so that's why i started to build my dream house and um hopefully soon it'll be finished this year and so i can move on to my next project and with god's uh, grace god willing everything will be okay so that's all for today guys i hope you've learned something from my uh topic today thank you so much for watching my blog guys and please please don't forget don't forget to like this video um leave any comment any comment i'm when i whenever i have time guys i at time guys i'm going to read all your comments okay and i'm gonna reply of course if i have time uh, if I'm not busy. So thank you so much. And uh, please do subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet. And uh, click the bell notification button to notify for more video updates. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much guys for watching my video. I'm so happy to be back. Thank you so much. Bye.